Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode. So what we have right now is we've got a bad tide starting very, very soon. So about two days ago, we got this notification and all I was doing just a bit of episode preparation. I was trying to figure out how do we want to expand and build up a bit of a dam or, or levee, levee reservoir to actually yeah, prepare for the bad tides. And then uh, we caused a bit of a mess here. I mean, this ecosystem was already pretty fragile. So all this extra water that was going here uh, had caused... Okay, so it's actually pulled back a little bit, which is good. But this whole area was covered in water. Yeah, everything was pretty, pretty flooded. So yeah, and here we are. It's just a few hours left before the, before the bad tide starts. Oh dear, this is going to be not a very nice one. How about... If we increase this, I think a lot of our construction beavers are going to get sick now as well, aren't they? Two days of bad tide. Okay, this isn't going to go well. Let's um, just hide everything. Let's see where the water can escape. It can go through here, which is great. And this one is not locked. You should be closed now. Okay, hopefully our main source of water will be fine. Okay, anyways, we'll, we've got one of those decontamination zones or ports as well, but those poor beavers... Oh dear. Okay, here we go. That is going to be disastrous. Okay, we'll check on you later, because this is going to be a bit more scary over here, isn't it? Okay, this one's flooding as well. It's going over this whole area. Maybe high priority over there. If we can climb up and block this off, we could stop it from going here. Although this isn't a massive problem right now, is it? And if we lose this forest over here, that's probably fine as well. I mean, eventually, once we get this wall done, then what we could do is we can sort of direct half the bad water to go this way and off the map. And then uh, we'll probably do another outlet from here as well. I believe it might have to be uh, just a tiny bit wider though. Yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. So we can leave you for the time being. Let's check on the rest of the colony as well. Everything has already paused, which is, which is lovely. I mean, in the two days that we have this bad tide for, uh, nothing should die. So that's, uh, that's all right. Another thing we have over here is our tank is finally completed. So yeah, once the bad tide is over, we can just crack it open and then... Uh, oh, actually, it might be easier if they cross over from here. Yeah, there's just a little bit left to construct over here. We have put down a few double platforms to help with the speed of construction as well. And let's have a look at you. 750 hamster power. That is not bad at all. Right, so what I think I'll do is we'll um, get rid of one of you. Okay. Uh, might look a bit scary, but that's all right. We'll uh, place the engine here instead. And this is going to get the highest priority. So hopefully we can have things running pretty much 24-7. Let's get rid of these trees as well. Okay, just for now. I want to have a, a few more contam or decontamination boards up and running. Oh, okay. I think we have a bit of a flood right now. That looks actually pretty, um, pretty cool. Oh yeah. How about the, uh, the rest of the map over here? Yeah. This lake is very red looking. Oh wow. This is pretty amazing, isn't it? I mean, I think we'll be fine. Even if it floods a little bit, most of our things uh, should be still operational. Um, yeah, I think so. We're just going to get a couple of these decontamination pods constructed. Yeah, because we do have 26 beavers that are unwell. I'm pretty sure that all of those beavers are our construction beavers, right? I mean, no one else should be really running around here unless they are haulers carrying water out of this area. Let's have a look at this side as well. I do like this power that we are getting from here. I mean, yes, we are not really utilizing it oh dear okay yeah due to the extreme plants that we have had here over the past few uh, quite a few days actually it seems uh some of our stuff has started to die as well yeah i hope we don't lose all of the crops because um it is having a bit of an effect on our food supplies oh yeah we are not really or fully able to show this off 
14 spare beavers. Oh, they must be from the the water pumping station. Anyways, yeah, we've uh, started to decorate this place a little bit as well and uh, to sort out the, the roads. Now, I mean, half those things are not very presentable right now, but one day when the trees grow a little taller and higher, I think this place might actually look pretty pretty good okay here we go it's uh, now done and cycle 11 begins once this is going to be built we'll have a double or a triple flat gate right about here and this only takes care of a little bit but we'll set up some automation to say if the bad water starts we're going to drop those gates close these ones and same on this side as well to ensure that all the bad water goes in a different different direction now the lake of course is still gonna be a problem um, yeah and we don't quite have a solution for that however what we can also do as you can see right now if this is getting too flooded over here and too busy we can always direct the water off the map now what is happening right now we might want to push some more clean water through here let's just drop it down and here we go are we gonna flood our colony yeah i think we are so let's uh, close you up again that was probably a mistake as long as it doesn't go into our clean water supply here okay here we go we are fine nearly um yeah contaminated our colony a lot of those trees are now gone wow they um they died pretty quickly and now with the rest of it okay so that's gonna take a bit of time i think we're gonna give you a slightly high priority though oh yeah i think i want this to be done a little bit quicker than the tank over here and we've got a bit of leftover water hmm okay yeah you've gone in here as well a lot of those trees are dead but that's okay beavers unwell 47 of them if we have a look at one of you, you are... Hold on a second, are you red? No, you are not red. I guess we'll give them a couple more days before they before they turn red. But okay, so um, how are we doing over here? Oh dear, yeah, that is a that is a bit of a nightmare. It is probably easier to expand this side. How about, let, let's just try something else out. If we remove all of this and allow, I guess, a bit more water to... Um, pass through this zone okay so hard to tell it's um it's very interesting those tides it's uh very heavily fluctuating in this zone in this area i mean if we cut this off yeah this um the lake side is going to be a very problematic area it's going to require a lot of attention oh dear did we they passed away from old age right okay 99 beavers only and 17 contaminated at all so okay interesting and how long do you have to be in here before you feel well again okay so he's just gonna sleep here another one can jump in right that's very interesting actually i have a feeling we might have to build a few more of these little pods so if you cross from here and uh, we need a power shaft and they need to climb up from somewhere as well that's where we're gonna do some roads hold on a second maybe we don't need this now let's grab the decontamination bot. We can do like three over here. And if we have the stairs actually around here, this could be an option. Or we could climb up from here. Have another road. Uh, that's interesting as well. Okay, one second. Let's um, let's just do this one here. We can do one, two, three, and platforms. Okay, I'm liking this one, but the other side still needs some uh, stairs. I mean, we could always cut like a little hole in here. We can go around and stuff, so... Right, so there we go. A couple of days have passed already. We still have uh, three unwell beavers and 45 contaminated beavers who do absolutely nothing in our colony. And uh, look at this army of super useless beavers that consume resources but contribute nothing towards this society right now so what we have decided is we are going to give the highest of priorities for this zone in here because the quicker we can heal them the quicker they can go back to work so oh dear yeah that is a that is a bit of a mess i must say now next thing having a look around colony um as you can see the yeah, those tides are definitely a bit spicy how about 
Hmm, replanted trees not marked for cutting. Oh, we should definitely do this. I don't think I've noticed this uh, little sign here before. I mean, we worked so hard trying to get this place looking amazing. Aesthetics, functionality, you name it, we worked on it. Yeah, all those trees do need to be replaced. Well, fortunately, it seems like it's pretty easy nowadays. How are we looking power-wise right now? Oh yeah, we're consuming way more than we are producing. Um, I guess the only option is if we do a, another engine right about here. Okay, we're not deleting you, are we? No, we are not. There's still 40 jobs though. Beaver contaminated 47. How do they keep contaminated? I thought this bad water is gone already. I mean, it should be. Yes, everything looks pretty clean to me. Somehow they're just not healing quick enough. Well, at least we got a few extra ports as well, and we're gonna just prioritize. Make sure they are full of this green liquid, and hopefully we'll we'll start getting some more beavers very soon. 45 beavers. I swear this doesn't seem to be going anywhere at all. How long is it gonna take to heal one of you? Doesn't seem to be giving us the information that we need, so we may have to just do a bit of research later on, but okay. How is our engine coming along? We are very close. Hold on a second. So if we have the water... Oh yeah, water is clean. It's not coming through to here though. Oh yeah, this reminds me. We were supposed to kind of change this area around. Okay, let's have a look. Um, tiny little bridge would be kind of cute over here, right? Okay, so you go over there. And then next we're going to... Place down a platform just like so. Connect you up now with this one here. We're gonna pause you for a little bit because we we should be getting a bit of a flow through here. We're not. Are you closed? Oh yeah, you guys are still closed. Okay, there we go. Let's um, push all this bad water through the system. We'll flush it out. And hopefully we can start filling... Oh, I hope it's not going to go through this way. Because I was just about to say that we should open up the gates. And you guys have been constructing this side as well. Okay, yeah, not too much left it seems. Right, so I think we have uh, sort of figured it out ourselves. I mean, I don't know the exact time it takes for the beavers to, to recover. But they uh, certainly, this sort of like a, the red bar needs to go all the way to zero so this person over here or this beaver over here seems like they might just be starting or at the start of their healing process whereas this one here is almost done sharimara yeah you're almost a healthy beaver again and um it is pretty clear that we are gonna have to take this quite seriously it's not just i mean the bad water and the the crops and things is one thing but having 43 beavers out of operations for what is it now i think it was cycle 11 that started after the bad water tide ended so what is it like 10 days already and we still have 40 beavers that are not doing absolutely anything so that is a problem um the solution yeah we've got a bit of a solution in here now it's a bit of a chicken and an egg thing to um we need to focus our efforts building all of this up in here but to be able to build this we are going to need those beavers so what I am going to do now, because it seems we were still lacking a bit of power, I would like to shut off all these uh, manual power wheels. Give you a bit of a priority as well. This one, that one. Yeah, so get those healthy beavers out from here and working at some more important locations. So yeah, we're going to have to put some more effort into keeping this colony, colony safe. Another option which I was hoping to avoid is we could always just levy the, the sides of the river. I don't like this option though, because right now, I mean, the only where, the only location that we the struggle with is, is this one here. When the bad water comes and if this tank is not ready, then it's got nowhere else to go. Whereas with this one here, we could block off the flat gates. And turn off, I guess, those buildings as well. I mean, there's not going to be that many beavers that go through this area. So we should be okay here. Same thing over here. That's uh, bad water we get is okay. So let's make sure we have enough power. Keep those decontamination 
bots running you're getting a little low as well so let's just make sure that you've got the staff you need uh, bad water maybe give you a bit of a priority I hope not every single or all of our buildings aren't marked as a high priority and uh, we may even decide to open up a, another one here but the tank seems to be pretty full so I don't think we have to do it just yet on a slightly happier note why don't we take this one out from here okay the platform as well and yeah let's just let it fill all the way up I believe we're fine right so oh you guys haven't done this yet uh, that is going to be the highest of priorities because it is quite an important route for us to be able to go through here. Not to worry, it should be constructed rather quickly. Why have you not paused? Pause when drought starts. Unpause when temperate. Oh, okay. That's not what we wanted to do here, right? So it should be controlled by the steam cage. It is gonna flood any second now. So let's say 1.8. 85 is when we pause you and unpause when it drops to like 141. Okay. I think we have fixed this now, right? Disable doing crowds. We don't want to want you to run and not sure about the bad tides, but I think uh, that's okay for now. All right. Some money is flooded. That is our colony over here. Uh, that's probably because we were filling up the tanks. Yep. So that is lovely now. And to build this up, we are going to need slightly better route to to go in here. How about we quickly grab some platforms. Top down view. I believe we should be somewhere. Now, how high do you have to be? Just one. Okay, lovely. And bring this road through here as well. Might even delete them very quickly. Okay, highest priority. So what do we have right now? 28 viewers are still waiting can we build more of those pods do we want to i guess we have to let's have a look at this now so 1200 okay and how many resources to take you take a bit of metal so metal is something we don't want to be wasting we can do another one here or another three in here if we change the roads around a little bit we've got the roads going through here so we don't need them let's try and grab this again one two and three right so that should do the trick another four of them and then once they all healed i guess we can pause them here we go 12 beavers don't have a bed uh, that's because we've had a ton of children oh dear that might be a bit too many so um we're gonna need some more buildings or some more houses for them Okay, one over here. Another one could actually go here if we really want to. Might have to change the roads around a little bit, but um, 12 bits is what we need. All right, so this is looking pretty lovely. We've had the beaver team work, I want to say, over time, but that's not really true. Everyone's finishing around normal time. But they have been uh, replanting several of those trees already. Oh yeah, there's a couple over here. And then uh, some mangroves as well. Where are you? You must have been getting some food i suppose and then uh, here we go quite a got a few things have been fixed up in this zone as well so i've just quickly added another forester over there one over here as well just want to make sure that we get everything done as quick as we can and even though it might be a waste of time yeah it's a waste of time but it's uh it's just very sad to see when the colony is half dead so um we'll try and beautify it as quick as we can and then uh, we'll consider i mean okay so this area is, is okay that's what i'm trying to say whereas the lakeside i guess we're always gonna have this issue now aren't we unless we build up a bit of a defensive mechanism here as well hmm i mean we could because they are in a very central area but it's quite a lot of water sources that we have here so when they do explode during bad tide we might need a pretty wide canal to let this all go and with our plans to create like a bit of a beaver venice here as well hmm that might prove to be a bit difficult but we'll see we'll see we like a good challenge so um yeah, uh, the tank here is starting to take shape as well. Just a couple of levees left. And um, I 
sort of post a few pointless levies here. Because um, we do want to get... Hold on a second. Probably you first. Let's give you a slightly higher priority. And then, yeah, we start building up this whole, whole area. Okay. You can probably go. And now, since they can't climb down, we can just queue up the whole thing in here. All right. There we go. And let's do another level straight away. Access wise, oh yeah, it might be smarter to block off this area and focus on this first. Just try and focus, yeah, getting this little corner done because when the next bad water tide comes, at least it will all go this way. Although I do have to fix up some of those triple floodgates in here as well. Yeah, we'll do a 2.5. Let's see what happens. It's all going to go that way, which is okay, I suppose. Drought is approaching, okay, quickly as well. The reason why I'm building it this way, doubling them up, because I do want them to be linked. Yeah, most definitely. I do want them to be linked, so that way I just set the, or do the settings on one, and then everything else will be, will be sorted as well. Okay, so we have 12 beavers that are still contaminated. That is pretty good. We should have enough little boards for them enough electricity as well oh no we don't but that's okay we might even be able to get most of this constructed before the before the drought starts we've got two days left so let's uh, complete this section in the next episode so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you soon